everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your old pal Tim Man here. Now, I wanted to speak to you about Friday the 13th because I recently rewatched them all and they still are great. Yes, they are. And a while ago, I picked this up the Friday the 13th box set from Crystal Lake to Manhattan Ultimate Edition DVD collection. Got this on eBay for 20 quid. And I was like, yes, because I never had them individually. I don't know why, I just never did. Anyway, put up this box set. Great, love it. Artwork, superb. But, I must admit, I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of how they how they came. Now, if you've got these, you'll know what I'm on about. So basically, slip, tiny slip cases. I'm not a fan of slip cases. I'll tell you why I'm not a fan of slip cases, is I like physical media look. I like to see, I like to see it on my shelf. You might have guessed that. You know, I don't care if it takes up more room. It just looks better. When it's like that, it's just, no, it just doesn't do it for me. And another thing that made me realise oh, I'm not a fan of these was, is they put two films on one. And the artwork. Ah, no, sorry. That doesn't do it for me. It It's just lazy to me. It looks lazy. You know, split down the middle, two images. Oh, no, sorry. Back. Yeah, it's half and half, isn't it? So, yeah, so part one, I'll go through them quickly. Part one and part two on thin. Yeah. What else you got? <laughs> part three and part four. Yeah. They, they, no, they need more. They do need more. But anyway, as a box set by itself on a shelf, it's cool because they're all compact, aren't they? Where have we got now? Let's get the right way. Oh, yeah. Part five and part six. Ah, yeah, not great. And then part seven, part eight. Yep, there you go. I do believe the discs are on each one, like that. It's the standard discs as well. So if you're in the UK, they had these, they brought out, some of them, some of them brought out ones like this. I got this recently. And it's the original cover, yeah? Original spine, great. Disc, yeah, just basic, normal, fine. But then some of them have this white cover. You'll see it now with the red on it. Make up your mind, release them all the same or just or don't release them at all. Anyway, got me thinking. Not a big fan of the way they are laid out, the way they're done. I'm not a fan. I would love to have my own physical versions of them. So I found a website that did exactly that. So... To start with, hang on, I'll just show you them all quickly, look. And then I'll get into them, but there you go. That's that box set done the real way. But we'll show you them properly. So, on screen I will show you better versions. These are printed ones. Now, I printed these, not the best colour copier. So the, the quality is okay. They were alright because they're temporary. And also... I didn't size them right because there's a white board around all of them because it needed to be a little bit bigger. But like I say, copy wasn't great, so I'm going to redo them. But I'm going to show you them anyway. So found this website. This guy, he was, he was amazing. He had different versions of all the movies, so you could have a, you could have one that had the poster, one that had the alternative poster cover. You had a choice basically. So he sent me them all. So I was like, oh my god, sport for choice here. But I've chose the ones I liked. So, original one, I went with the classic Friday the 13th. Just a classic, classic cover. Now, like I said before, there's a white border around there because it it was slightly too small. And it was on obviously printed on white paper. So it, it's left me with a border around the edge of all of it. It's fine because I'm going to reprint them. And also the quality is good, but it could be better. So I need to get to a proper place and do a proper quality color covers to get them done anyway just so much better straight away look at that the the classic post is it the poster no the, there was a choice it was this one or was the the classic poster one with just the friday 13th you'll see it now i went with this one and I, i'll probably change my mind and go back to the original but so much better but this guy has even done the backs and as well and written all the bits in and and there's different versions with different pictures in different places and it's just so well done and I, what I love about it is the spines. It's proper, proper looking spines. So there's your part one for Friday the 13th. Classic. Where do we put these? We'll put these here. 
Okay. Part two. Yep, yeah, there you go. Classic part two. My cases are a bit... These are just basic black cases. I'll get proper, like, dirt on it. I'll just get, get it get sorted. But yeah, part two. Classic cover. There you go. Part two back as well. And the classic spine. When they're together, right, I'll do them like that and you'll see them build up as they go. They look so bloody good. So already one and two, superb. Part three, yeah, just like the just like the original one which I've got here. Just for a comparison. See, the good thing is, is this guy, he gave me different backs. So you've got the original back and then you've got the custom made one. So well done. Everything's done so well. Some of them have different fonts as well. You can pick different front, uh, different fonts. So that's really cool. So part three, so good. Spine, great. Look at that. There you go. Final chapter. Now this is a cool one. I love this one. Do you know what I always thought as a kid? I always thought that was a potato. Yep. And it was one of them potato guns. You know where you go in and get the potatoes, then you potato shooter. That's what I always thought it was as a kid. <laughs> Some potato dad dan it was daft but there you go final chapter back ace spines superb like i say the white board is annoying but that's temporary but look how much better that looks already hey eh? straight away that's like yes part five there was oh there was alternative covers there was two two of them i'll show you them now on the screen i mean you could pick your favorite you you know i just went with this one because I love the Tommy Jarvis standing there with the, with the oh, so, so, such a cool image. So I went with that one. Backs as well. This one doesn't even fit. This one doesn't even fit the picture, but it, it's, temp it's temporary. It looks good. It looks good for now. Yeah, so classic. And then your classic spine for part five. There we go. That one there. My personal favourite in the entire Friday 13th series, part six. Yes, my absolute favourite. Why is it my favourite? It was my introduction to Friday the 13th. By the time I'd seen them, I think this is probably just, not just out. I can't actually remember if it was just out or not, but yeah, Jason Lives to me is 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 my favourite. Favourite score. It's got Tom Matthews in it. It's my buddy, Tom Matthews. Oh, he's, he's a legend. He really is. So there you go. Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives. I mean, straight away, look at the, look at the difference. Look, I'm not even going to... I mean, you know what I mean? Classic poster versus, no, laziness. No, 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 no good, no good. So yeah, there you go. Image on the back, all different stuff. And classic spine. Oh, love it, love it. There we go, part six is there. Next up, New Blood. This one had different images as well. You could choose your favourite. I went with this one. Um, I quite like this one. Classic, classic image. Oh, telekinesis. I do like this one. Do you know what I like about this one is Jason. Not only is it is it Kane Hodder, his first, but it's also Jason's face. The way he moves his mouth, you know, with his teeth and the and, uh, and the one eye. Love it. Love it. So there's the back for part seven. And the spine for part seven. Really cool. Oh, love it. Great. There we go. That goes on there. Okay. Now, Jason Takes Manhattan. Whew. Not my favourite. <laughs> Not my favourite by a long stretch. But that iconic scene of him coming out, out into... Uh, is it Times Square? I can't remember where it is. In New York. And he stops and looks and sees the lights. And it's just... Oh, that that alone is, is, is worth the price of admission. Not that I'm paying. Anyway. Few different covers with this one. I'll put the others up now. I don't know why I went with the other one, the I Love New York one, because I think that's better. But this kind of grabbed me. I don't know why. I think it's the VHS cover. I'm not 100% sure. So there's the back, and it's got the I Love New York on it. Classic spine. Yeah, ace. There we go. What we got next? Right. Jason goes to hell. But as you can see, I've got Friday 13th part is it eight? No, nine. Part nine, Jason Goes to Hell. This dude gave you variations so you could have Jason Goes to Hell. But because all of them are Friday the 13th and it had the different name, I was like, do you know what? I would love for that to have the Friday the 13th on it. And he had it. And I was just like, it has to be done. 
has to be done. So there, there you go. Jason goes to hell. What a weird, weird film. Jason's hardly in it, but still. Yeah, needed the um, needed the right font, I think, for this. Definitely did. So there you go there. Oh, they look better already. Look how good they look. Yes, they take up more space, but it doesn't matter. Because that's what physical media is about. Now, <laughs> everyone, now everyone, 80% of people hate this movie. I personally think it's great because it's, cause it's daft. I like it because it is, is absolutely ridiculous. Yes, Jason X. And yet again, I've chosen Friday the 13th Part 10. Because look at it. It's, just, <laughs> it's, it's ace. It really is. I've got the original here. Let's look at the difference. There you go. Next to that. It's pretty similar. Look how cool they look. Different backs on that as well. Different back images. Well, actually, tell a lie. Looking at it properly, it does have Jason X down here, but you've got the Friday the 13th Part 10 at the top just to give it that Friday the 13th feel. So, of course, when you look at the spine, it's Friday the 13th Part 10, isn't it? Not the Jason, uh, Jason X at the side. There you go. They look extremely cool. Now, let's put these over here. Bring them a bit nearer so you can see them. Let's rest them on the hoverboard. Ah, do you know what? I'm just going to show you. I'm going to hold them. How good do they look? Yeah? So much better. Yeah, they take up more space. Like I said before, that doesn't matter. It looks... It looks the bee's knees. It really does. I love... I love how they look. Now, the reason why I'm showing you, yeah, is that I still have the files for these covers and I have all the variations. So I'm, I've made this video to show you how good they are, but also to let you know that if you want those files and you wanna do your own versions like this, please reach out to us, right? Uh, the email is in the description. Send us an email and I will forward you all the files and you can print your own ones. It, it's too good not to share. I say email because obviously it's files, so I've got to send it over. You can you can reach out to us on Instagram or Facebook, but I'll need email addresses to forward them off. I want other people to get these and have their own versions, their variants and stuff like that. And if you do, if you do decide to do it, please, flies in here, send me your pictures, send, send us. I would love to see your collection on your shelf with all your other stuff. It would, it would, it looks so good. So yeah, that's the main reason why this video is to show you that you don't have to stick with the lazy, lazy versions if you don't if you don't want to. Although that front cover is damn good, it really, really is. You, if you want, like me, if you want physical nerd nerdiness, there it is, and it's yours. Just reach out to us. I'll happily send them over to you. It's an email. Boop, boop, boop. Off you go. Uh, it, it'd be, it, I'd love to see other people's versions. It'd be great. It really would. It really would. And another thing is, I didn't realise that if you have the Region 1 version, you get an extra disc of all the extras. UK, you don't get it. Which is a bummer. That's sometimes where the UK gets shafted, I think, when it comes to certain extras and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to look out for a Region 1 version, even if it is in the slipcases, because... I want the extras, you know what I'm like, physical media, I, I want it, I want everything. Anyway, I digress, I'm, I'm going on a bit. So yeah, that was my custom made, not all my custom, but custom made Friday 13th covers. Like I say, if you want them, reach out, I'll happily send them over. So on the next custom cover hunt I'm looking for is custom covers for Nightmare on Elm Street. That'll be next, because although, like this, great box set this is even lazier the uk version look it doesn't even have it doesn't even have covers split covers it doesn't even have that there again the the us version that's beautiful that i'm after one of those but they are they're quite expensive for for what they really are but they're nice because they have the card classic card case ones they're really, really nice. So I'm looking out for custom covers for those if I can. 
And if I do get them, I will definitely be showing you and I'll definitely send you the link if I do. So anyway, that was it. Custom Friday 13th covers. Yes, amazing. So until next time, people, stay safe, stay tuned and stay sick. Tim Mann, out.